good spirit. What is going on? It is your girl here. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be speaking to you guys about the video that I done two days ago. That sounds so confusing. Before I get into this video, guys, can you go down below and hit that subscribe button to help me get to 900 subscribers? If you hit 800, guys, you guys smashed that subscribe button. I know you can do it. I know we can do it, guys. We're a strong little family. Go down below, guys, and smash that like button. Hit it. Punch it, break it, do whatever you guys want to do to that like button. Turn that like button blue, guys. I want to go over what actually happened in that video the other day. I have a feeling that some of you guys might have a mixed feeling about this video. I personally didn't feel like I done good enough job in this video to upload it. I wanted to upload it just because I have it and just because I want to show you guys what I found. And I feel like I needed to make this video to explain to you guys what actually happened in that video. I've also had a lot of people come at me and say like the video is fake. When I do these abandoned exploring videos, I try not to cut it too much. I try to keep it so that it's 100% raw and 100% legit. So just so you guys know that we're not faking anything. In this video, for some reason, my camera just did not want to record. It didn't want, it didn't want me to use it, basically, because the battery wouldn't stay charged. And then the SD card just would not stay, it would just would not work. It done my head in, guys, and in the end of the night, I was just so fed up of it. I, we just wanted to get home, guys. And it was freezing cold as well, so we tried our best to get as much and the best footage that we could for you guys. I know that we was in a graveyard, and I 100% understand why some people might get really triggered with this video, but I just want to say that we respected that graveyard. We did not at all go on any of the graves. We did not mess about in the graves. We did not. We didn't go near any of the graves unless uh, until, like, one point. When we did go to a grave, the only reason why we went to that one grave was because in my house, the house that I live in, in 1915, I think it was, Mr. Morris brought, brought concern. So guys, a boy that of the age of five lived in this house. <laughs> Unfortunately, he died at the age of five. And so when we got to the actual graveyard, you know, we was all feeling a bit une uneasy. We was all feeling on edge. You know, it's a graveyard going in there at midnight. We was a bit freaked out. So we was hearing things. You can hear things in the video. It was it was creepy, guys. So after walking around for some time, there's a few things that we didn't actually see, which I came across in the day. But after walking around for a while, guys, we came across a area where one of, one of our friends took a picture. And in that picture, you can literally see this little girl like bending over a graveyard crying like I'll put it up on screen now but this picture is so freaky you can pause this video now because it's up on the screen and you can check it out for yourself so after walking around for a bit guys doing some experiments and stuff like that we started to just feel like we wasn't wanted there anymore we started to feel like we should go we all felt like something some sort of bad energy was just clinging on to us and we we all got negative and just wanted to get out of there we all we was all on our way back guys and there was two of us behind and there was two of us in front so me and Declan was behind and Tammy and Dan was in front and they was like halfway down the path because they just wanted to get out there me and me and Declan was going to end our videos do the outro and everything like that so we was back a bit and Declan turned around and said take pictures off the tree and I was there just taking videos and getting ready to do my outro just this white thing caught my eye and I was like what the hell like I took Turned around and looked on the ground and there was like this glove and I walked up to the glove and I didn't realize what was on the glove until Declan said and I walked up to the glove and there was blood legit blood on the glove I, I don't know what to think this is weird okay this this is like there's a glove a plastic glove on in a graveyard on the floor at 12 o'clock at night and then we walked down a little bit more and there was another glove with no blood on and a pair of scissors next to it this only this one glove had blood on the other two things just didn't have blood on it so we didn't want to touch them we didn't want to take them away it was late, we wanted to get home, we didn't really want to like phone the police because we did like it could have been someone cutting some flowers and cut their hand or dropped them out the car. You know, it could have been anything. It might it might have been hair dye for all we know. It could have been anything, guys. So it, it kind of freaked us out a bit. And then I went up the next day, guys, and there was there was literally I'll just run the clip now and you'll see what I'm on about. So yeah, then back. Guys, I'm back up the graveyard that we were up last night and I've come up to check what them things were that we've seen. They're still here. They're right here, guys. So there's like scissors right there. Oh, wait, dog. 
There's scissors right there. And then a glove. Like, what the hell? And then here there's another. There's some more. And that one has blood on it. So guys, the picture that they took with that girl in, which I'll show you, which I've spoke to you about, um, was taken by here somewhere. I can't really identify where to, but I think it was by here somewhere. Um, so I've just came to check up to make sure there's nothing in the actual way of it. But I can't see anything. This is all I can see, and I can't really see anything that would be in the way. So, like, it was... Run by here somewhere. Guys, I just found this and I hope they got it not linked to that up the gloves up there. Ew, nice. I did not see that last night. We walked past you. Guys, this is the bench that we were sitting on last night. Um and I've just came to have a look and I found this as well. I don't know if that's linked to anything. There's like dry blood there. And we were sitting like right there last night. And I'm worrying just in case it's like linked to anything. Because like off of these over here, they're only like seconds away from each other. And we was literally sitting there and it was right freaking, it was right, it was right messed up. But then like on our way back, then we came across these. And they're still here. But like that is like blood on it. If you can see. And then as you can see by the clip I just showed you guys, I went up the next day and I walked towards, I started walking towards where we seen the um, little girl sitting by the grave. So as we walk, as I was walking towards there, I looked on the floor and there was this deceased um, bird. It was just like, I blurred it out in this video for like people's, I just don't want you guys to see that, but it kind of clicked something in my brain. I was like, maybe that was to do with the glove and the scissors. Like, I know it sounds really weird, and obviously there's foxes about up there, there's squirrels everywhere up there, and foxes and cats and stuff like that. The fact that there was this dead bird that had blood on it, and then a minute walk, not even that, a couple of, about 50 seconds of walking, there was gloves with blood on, and a pair of scissors, like, why would there be scissors and gloves in a graveyard with blood on, and then a bird, like, a couple of seconds down, that that is dead with blood all over so I kind of link them together maybe I'm just maybe I'm linking them not right maybe like they're not linked together at all maybe they have nothing to do with each other but the fact that they was both there in that graveyard was a little bit you know weird but then in between them okay so we had the bird here we had the gloves here and then in between them we were sitting in a circle in like I call it the circle there's like a kind of like a circle cross path where you've got loads of different paths coming off this one little circle and in that circle you got this bench so we was all sitting in this bench, guys, and that's where we was like doing the dial rods and the reading and the radio and stuff like that. I was walking around there in that little circle, and I walked up to the bench. Um, I was like, you know, we might as well have a look at the bench we were sitting on, just do a little retour of what we was doing that night. So when I walked up to that bench, guys, behind the bench there's like grass, and on the grass there was like all like blood, like there was just red stuff all over it, and it looked exactly like blood. It's as if, right, someone has gone to the circle cut up this bird, dumped it there and dumped their gloves there. Like, it links like that. That's the only thing I picture in my mind. That's the only thing that's going from my mind. Is there sick people out there that will actually do this thing to the birds? Or it'll cut them up and just be absolutely disgusting to this bird? Or is it the fact that a bird has died, it's been eaten by animals, there's a little bit of blood there, maybe someone's cut themselves, maybe an animal's cut themselves, maybe the bird died there and it got dragged along. And then someone cut themselves with scissors, like... I don't know, what do you guys think of that? Like, what do you guys really honestly think about all these things? I don't know what to think of that. Like, I really don't know what to think. Maybe I should, maybe we should go up there and do another reading. Maybe we should go up there and see if we can find anything else, any other kind of clues to go with this. You guys let me know what you want to see down below, like, with this. Do you want me to carry this on? Do you want me to go back up there? Or is it just a coincidence? That's all I can really say about the graveyard experience video, like, there's not much else to really say. I just wanted to explain to you guys what actually happened that night. I feel like that video wasn't produced as much as I wanted to get out. So I just want to explain to you guys, just so you guys know that I ain't being, I ain't pulling the wool over your eyes. Or I ain't being like fake about this. 
I am being 100% real whenever it comes to any sort of abandoned videos. Uh, for people to witness me, I am being 100% real with these videos. So yeah guys, I'll see you all in the next video. Um, let me know what you think down below. I love every single one of you. It's been me. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.